Welcome back, Wolfpack. Vrillis here, and I'm honestly incredibly torn right now. I am in awe of how good the strategy is. I want to hold this strategy for myself and keep it away from you guys so I can go and unveil it at Nationals next year and maybe even win with it. That this is that scary of a strategy. I've been testing it out. I've never felt something so solid. Something with so many options in my entire Pokemon career. And it just, it's, it's astonishing. But here's the thing. I've been 100% uh, like transparent with all my strategies. I haven't been holding anything back. I, whenever I find something incredible, you know, I show it to you guys and I see if you guys can take it to the next level. And this is something else. So, Matt, you are amazing because when I first heard the strategy, I thought it was I thought it was really good. And after testing it, like this is god tier strategy right here. Like this could this is just. Un unstoppable almost from what I've experienced and it's just a truly incredible strategy so Matt is a patron that you know he donated $20 that lets him get a strategy review and he gave me the strategy to review it's amazing like, I still am in just awe amazement the more I understand this strategy so it's Spinda and it's skill swap contrary Spinda on the surface, that doesn't seem like... I, I've looked into this before. I've thought like, hey, how would Contrary work on other Pokemon? And it didn't click for me quite like it did for Matt. And I even have Choice Scarf on it. And Choice Scarf is one of the best options. I was thinking without Choice Scarf, you know, what other things you could do with it. Because you have Fake Tears. Fake Tears, you can use it on your ally and they, you lower their special defense, which actually boosts their special defense because of the way that, you know, Contrary works. I was like, okay, that's a good idea. But Choice Scarf skill swaps create so many dynamics, create so many options that this, the most crazy things ha have happened. So let's get more into the meat of this strategy. That's Arcanine. If, if, if someone told me without like going into any depth of the strategy that they say, okay, Arcanine and Spinda are the two strongest, is the strongest combo in the game. I would look at them like they're mad, but it's the strongest combo I've ever seen in the game. So we have Arcanine, using close combat. And here's the here's the beauty of it, that contrary close combat is a free stockpile while doing damage. Lowers uses defense and special defense by one, not with contrary. And that's what this all boils down to, is that first turn, use skill swap, Arcanine, Arcanine do, does co uh, close combat, and then you proceed to just win from there. You have the intimidate ability, which makes it even more incredible, that Arcanine comes out, intimidates the opponents, after that, you skill swap, so Spinda intimidates the opponents. Then you skill swap your opponent, and they intimidate your Arcanine, which boosts its attack. I... It, it, the amount of speed that this strategy has, that the amount of tankiness and durability that this strategy has, and the amount of diversity you can put into this strategy, that you also run Overheat which raises your special attack by two. So you close combat to get your defenses up, you overheat until you become a special attacking monster, and then you have Morning Sun for sustain. I can't put it into words how amazing this is. So on top of that, you can also play around with the dynamics. You, this is a, the best EV spread that you can have for making it just defensive, well-rounded. Now you can also look at it in other ways. You're intimidating your opponents, which means your physical defense, or like, or, your fi their physical attacks aren't doing as much, so you don't need as much defense, and maybe you could worry about buffing up your special attack, or special defense, because, you know, you're, they're already losing half their attack from just the skill swap right there. And it's just, it's just insane. And I just can't get over it. Now, the original strategy did have a Choppel Berry, I guess to reduce fighting type attacks for Spinda. The Choice Scarf is my own personal flair, and it became even stronger than I can ever imagine, so I don't even know what's next for the strategy. Like, what could it add to the layers of the strategy to make it even stronger? I am just completely blown away right now by how good this thing is. And it keeps going. So I was thinking, okay, let's pull up a list of close combat Pokemon and find out which ones work. Mega Pinsir is an insane Pokemon for the strategy. It gets superpower and close combat. So what you do is you close combat, and then you get superpower boosts, and it, it, that's just how it is. Your quick attacks are still going to do a lot of damage. You have Earthquake as coverage, and when Pinsir Mega evolves, it gets insane stats. So, I mean, Arcanine has good hit points and good defenses, but I mean, Mega Pinsir has 120 defense and 90 special defense. I was thinking you can go with the Adamant Nature just to go with the bulk in your attack and go 2v2, 2v2, because the defense is already re really high, and that's some scariness right there. Let's see, 276, 279 versus, yeah, 257 max. Like, that's good. 
That's good, that's scary. That's strong, I've used it. Like, the thing is, whenever I see a Zoomeril, or whenever I see a heavy water type team, um, I end up bringing Mega Pinsir and it still works really well because it's close combat for defenses, superpower. It doesn't have the sustain, but it's still terrifying. Um, after that, I was thinking, okay, how do I make this into a real team? Like, this is doubles. You're going to need some backup Pokemon. I was thinking Greninja and Meowstic. Meowstic uses Reflect and Light Screen, gives you even more defenses, makes you even tankier because now you're taking even less. Thunder Wave to support your slow speed since you're not putting any speed investment, and Fake Out to buy you an extra turn of close combat. The strategy is... I can't say insane enough. This is mind-breakingly strong. And that it... Like, I can't. I can't even. I don't know how good it is. And then you have Greninja just for fast special sweepy coverage. It's so, it's just so good. You also have Map Block on Greninja because it's fast and it buys you another turn of close combat. Or, yeah, it buys you another close combat. I can't. Like, I, I think I came up with kind of the best way to make this strategy work. Because generally, spend is done in the first couple turns, and then I just try to support from there. I don't really know what else could be done. Like, you want to run Spinda and Arcanine, or Spinda and Mega Pinsir. You don't put both of those together. After that, you need supportive Pokemon, and you're good to go. I was also looking into Machamp. Machamp isn't the strongest that I was thinking it would be, but still, it's Rest Talk with Close Combat and Fire Punch is still really strong. I just, I just can't compare to this Arcanine. It's so good. Machamp is still good, though. Like, I mean, that Citrus Berry proc is going to keep you alive as you Close Combat. Machamp is really good for defenses, has strong hit points, a little more defenses than Arcanine even. And actually, I think overall its stats are, yeah, its stats are a bit better overall, but it just doesn't have that overheat. It doesn't have that offense boost, which is what I feel makes Arcanine even stronger. But overall, like, you got a lot of craziness going on right here. So, that's, that's Spinda. My god, the, the, the scariest Pokemon in doubles when, when played like this, I swear. So, if you guys enjoyed this video... I'm just, I'm blown away. I hope you guys have a nice day.